face. Good evening to each and every one of you and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Music Lovers LTD, our Friday night edition of our Rock and Roll Booking. This is what we do on Friday night. We sort of stand back your hands the time, if you will, and we talk through the legend. Tonight on the show, we have one of Philly's favorite. They are the times. Let's get right into it because I don't want any time to squeeze by us and we can't talk to our friends. Once again, good evening and welcome to Music Lovers LTV on a Friday night. Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing? All right. We're good. All right. All right. Hanging in it's, good to, it's good to see everybody. Um, uh, Kevin and uh, the professor and Diane and Lamar. Uh, who's missing? Am I missing somebody? Who am I missing? I said, yes. Yes. Uh, I got Our special guests are Mr. Norman Burnett and Mr. Caesar, Caesar Berry, two hey. original members. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Cease? I said, hey. <laughs> Wait, Cease, we're not, don't uh, do not do that because I don't want okay. to have to charge you, you know what I mean, for the, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. Uh, Caesar Berry and Norman Burnett, the original members of the group called The Time. You fellas, hold on. I'm glad to have you here. We've been friends for a long time. We're going to talk about that. But just before we get started, just before we get started, I'm going to ask the help of everybody here. I want everybody to close your eyes. And we want to go back to 1964 and before. I would like you guys to go into a hypnotic trance and come back to me as the Latinx. Come on yeah. in, baby. <laughs> Caesar, you know, come you know, on. You start things off. How you doing, Caesar? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me, man. No, you got it. It's a pleasure, it. really. Always you with it. you. You got it, bro. You got it. Come back a I'm long way, my man. man. There we go. There we go. I got you now. I got you now. Please, <laughs> um, you and Norman, I'm going to switch back between the two of you because I'm going to start this, and then the, the uh, uh, music lovers are going to jump in here with their questions and or comments. Caesar and Norman, how does it feel after all of these years, and I'm saying to you all of these years, that you have been singing and your biggest hit song is still a smoker in the music world today? Go ahead, Caesar. Well, all I can say is thank the man upstairs and and, and, and thank the fans because uh, it's, it's been a national hit all over the country, all over the world. And uh, I never thought in my wildest dreams that that was going to be a hit record because they didn't have any music or nothing in it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I, I really, it, well, it, was really, it was really a pleasure. Okay, One, Norman, Norman, I'm coming to you now. Okay. One thing about that song, it stands the test of time. It, it sounds like it's brand new now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's like it's like we just recorded it, you know. And, cool. and a lot of people got a lot of people got married on that song too. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And and other things happened with that too. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah well, I didn't want to go that far. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, we go places. We go places sometimes, man. And the 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 the, 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 the fathers and the mothers introduced us to. The, children that were conceived on that record. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And this is this is your, this is what happened with so much in love. And I'm like, golly. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it isn't it amazing to to hear uh, uh mothers and fathers talk like that to you guys now and then I mean how do you feel when that type of thing happens? <laughs> I was wondering what I was doing back then. <laughs> Norm, tell me, tell us how you feel about that when people talk to you like that. Oh, I feel great. You know, I feel like a star. I feel okay. like all over again. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see, hey, hey, you know what I mean? Ain't no shame in the game. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. Uh, music lovers, come on in and introduce yourself. And, and uh, you can go with your question and no comment. Whoever wants to go first, just give me a hand. All right. Everybody throw their hand up at one time. Lamar, okay. go ahead, bro. Hey, my name is Lamar, and my question to you is, who did you listen to before you started singing, and who helped you to produce your recordings? Okay, I'll take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. My influence was Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. That's who I, that's who I, I, I patterned my whole self from them, from that group, you know. He, 
Frankie was 13. I was like 13, too, at the time or so. I think I was around that, that age. Um, and as far as my producer, uh, Billy Jackson, he produced our, our records. He produced a lot. He produced um, uh, Frankie Beverly, uh, Mongo Santa Maria, Ronnie Dyson. So he, did, he, he had a nice track record. So, so that's who, who did our, 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 our hits that brought us back out again. After years that we didn't have anything. You know? Did you tell him the group you sang with? Oh, uh, Billy sang with a group called the Revell. Thank you. See, Revelle. I, I, I jump on in there and see, let me just straighten me out. You know? <laughs> Remember the Revell? They had Cha Cha Tony, You Lied to Me, mm -hmm. Dead Man Stroll. Dead Man Stroll. Yeah. 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 Good question, Lamar. Good question. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think I saw the Professor Mac. Professor, yes. go ahead. Okay. Uh, since you mentioned uh, this wasn't what I was going to ask. Whoa, whoa, you, whoa, whoa, hello. whoa, 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 time out, time out. When the hell did you move and you got a baby grand in your front row? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That's 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 a baby grand. Yeah, it's a baby grand. I upgraded. <laughs> is that a picture or is that a, is that a piano? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fireplace and then the couch and all yeah. that. Where you at? Did she move the house? Right? Yeah. You in somebody else's house. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was make me forget my <laughs> You about to say you forgot your question, then you forgot your question. Oh, Hi, y'all. My uh, name good. is Sharon. They called me the professor. Okay. Um since you had mentioned Frankie Lyman and the teenagers, and I know yeah. you guys were originally from Philly, am I correct? Right, right, correct, correct. Okay, what part of Philly were you from, and did you know uh, Lee Andrews and the Hearts? Right. Mm -hmm. So you got to talk to Yeah, well, well, I, I, was, I, brought up, I was brought up in North Philly, around uh, Broad Columbia. Cecil oh, B. Moore, they call it now. Not far yeah. from where I used to live. Okay. And uh, Lee Andrews in the hearts. Well, Lee Andrews was a great influence on our songs, too, because he um, he uh, he did a voiceovers for us with his daughter and some of the, some of the stuff we did on our album. And uh, we met him through Billy Jackson. And uh, one of our first gigs was with Lee Andrews in the hearts. And they, they were headliners, man. That was like the excited little kid when, uh, on the same show with him. <laughs> Matter of fact, the, the we all, I... from North, all of us were from North Philly. Oh, North and where North were you Philly. from, Norm? North Philly, 2019 I mean, Columbia. 2019 Columbia. And I lived but at 17th in York. Look out okay. there. <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want to travel in your neighborhood. I could, I could beat up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came to go to the uptown, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Professor, but, um, Professor, it wasn't until later that Norman made some money and moved to Jersey away from us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But um, the reason I mentioned Lee Andrews in the heart, one of the members, Ted Weems. Okay. We used we were friends. We used to work together. He was my supervisor for a few years, mm -hmm. and he had told me some really crazy stories about life on the road. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. Um, did you guys have crazy things happen to you, like women climbing up the hotel room from oh the outside goodness. to the window no, no. on the sheet? Can I can I can I take yeah. one? Thing? Hold on, let me come, let me come, let me come to you. Let me, let me come to you, see. Let me come to you. And I want to put a wives are, our, our wives oh, are around. Oh, yeah, I want to say I want to put a clause in there. We can't let out all the goodies here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we had, we, had, we had some experiences. I'm, uh, it, 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 it was, <laughs> how can I say? <laughs> watch it, watch it, watch it. You remember, you remember the movie, uh, 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 The Rose? The Rose, yeah. The Rose, and remember what she said? It was nothing but sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> but that I knew was, he that wasn't was telling, I knew Ted wasn't fibbing. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it just sounded so crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you you see, if I could just jump in here real quickly, and and Norman and Caesar, we have been friends for a long time. And you hear me? Because Tim Uly say the same thing. The music lovers hear me say it all the time. 
this is the kind of stuff that you're not going to read on the back of an album because they don't make albums anymore, or you're not going to read this inside of a sleeve of, sleeve of a CD. You guys who lived it and who were there have got to share it with us. These are great, great stories, which makes us even more appreciate the music and the memories that we have of you guys. Right, right, right. You know, right. It was really funny too, man. We was on a tour with, who um, was we on a tour? Uh, 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 I forgot, going down south. We told was a Henry, it, was a Henry, Henry, it was a Henry, it was a Henry Wynn tour with, with Sam Cooke. With Sam, Sam Cooke Cook tour, yeah. And that's the first time I ever seen a chain gang, man. I read about it, seen it in the movies and this and that, but to see something yeah. like that up real was okay. like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That's very similar to when I when I went in the service and I went down south and I I heard about them and I've seen them on TV, but I never saw the water fountain where it said nigger, niggers and white. Hey. I never saw that until I got down south to see it. And it, it really set me, just shook me aback because coming from the north, we didn't have that. But right, and, and right, also right, where, right. where the blacks had to get, well, blacks or niggers, whatever you want to call what yeah. it was called then, had to sit up right. in the balcony. You know what I'm saying? So While we, the whites we, went into the front door and what have you, that type of thing. Yeah, we, we, we even did some places like that with, with, with Sam Cooke and said, um, Sam, they have big marquees out the Sam Cooke Review, colored dancing white spectators. Yeah. yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. It was. And, 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 and make a long story short, I, since you said what you said, Ali, I came out one, 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 one of the shows, we were in Alabama somewhere, and I talked to these big state troopers. He said, and he, man, he said, boy, y'all boys still sure can't sing, but you still niggas. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That, that, you guys oh, have a oh. lot. I've been saying this for the longest time. You guys got a lot of history in you that needs <laughs> yeah. to be told, that needs to be shared. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of thing I'm talking about. Uh, who's up next? Who's up next? Uh, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Hold on, Kevin. Let me put you in. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, hey, gentlemen, thanks for um, sharing your thoughts with us. How you doing? Kevin, um, your first song, I think it was So In Love, it came out in 1963. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I was like nine, nine years old, going on 10. Wow. <laughs> but my older sister, she always goes to dances every weekend. So I was like, what you call her, crash dummy, because <laughs> Tell me how to dance. <laughs> so she taught me how to do the bop. And your record was the first song that I ever learned how to do the bop with. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You did a awesome. slow. You did a slow bop. You did a slow bop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If I didn't get it right, she should smack me around. So <laughs> yeah, I figured, yeah. I, I, I got the message. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But that wow. song, that song, when we did it, we did it with a, we did it with a, we did it with a full orchestration. Then we did it with a mambo beat, we did a calypso beat, the orchestra, jazz beat, and this and that. And Bernie Lowe, who was the president of the company, he said, those guys' harmony is so good. He said, let's do something different. And they took out all the music. I'm doing the finger snap on the record. Marlene Davis from the uh, Orlines Lines was doing the high, high part. And all we had was a bass and a drum. That was it. OK. All right. Good information, man. Great information. Great yeah. information. Good question, Kev. Where did where they uh, share that memory? Uh, who's up next? All right, Diane, come on in, babe. Oh, my name is Diane. Um, I wanted first of all, let me say, my mother was so glad when Miss Grace came out because she said Ooh. nobody ever made a record that had nah. her name in it. <laughs> and then, in fact, I made sure that was played at her funeral. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. But I, what I want to say is, you know, I see that you, it was made so much in love was the song of the century. How does yeah. that make you feel? Right. Wow. Uh, yeah. No? yeah, it makes me feel like I'm on top of the world. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a song. I can say, the song is never will never be old okay. to me. Mm -hmm. Every time I hear it on the radio, I say, "Wow, it sounds like we just recorded that." Okay. It just makes you feel good, warm all over. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, I'm not, not from okay. not talking about a, a warm, getting hot from uh, 
being old. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ain't menopausing. You know what I mean? We just don't go there, okay? We not even to go there. But you know, Miss, Miss Grace, Miss Grace came about. We, we that was on one of our CDs, and they broke that over in Europe. Yeah. And then we got a gold record from that in Europe. Right. Right. And, uh, right. I didn't, and and now it's I, I just got a, a, a text about about a month ago. It's still not the number one shag song in the Carolinas. Yes, it is. I, I mentioned that last night. I mentioned that. Now here's what I, Norman and and please, here's what I don't understand. I don't know what is the definition of beach music. I don't want what is that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Much I don't know. In my life, Ali. But, really. But really. that's what it is. That's what yeah. it is. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I have no idea what it is. And I tried to find out, um, what's his name from uh, chairman of the board? I asked him because they're down there all the time. You know, yeah, um, I forget his name. But anyway, I asked him. General and General he, uh, General Johnson. Yeah, General, General yeah, Johnson. Well, no, he died. He died, but yeah, the, yeah. the one that took his place. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, but he anyway, I, that's, on why, that's why I asked. I'm sorry, go ahead, see. No, I said General, he, he wanted to produce a record on us, but it never happened. You know, I don't know what happened with it. You know, he was talking about to our manager at the time. It was uh, Jim Wagner. Okay. You know, okay. And uh, but it never really came or came or came or came across. I don't know what happened with that. Okay. Miss Grace, Miss Grace, we still do it. We still do it. Yeah. Ali, yeah. Ali, you, yeah. you, it's funny you mentioned General John. Well, the, the chairman of the board. I was thinking when you was think, getting ready to say something about the chairman of the board. Miss Grace was his closing song. We went down and we did a show with him. So he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He was a little disturbed by that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That was okay. Song. Yeah. Well, I, I I do happen to know that that is a uh, Miss Grace is a very 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 big song. And you're right. Oh, yeah. The dance, the dance is a shag, and it's beach music. And I still don't know yeah. what the hell beach music. I don't know if I'm supposed to bring up a beach ball or what. I don't know yeah, what the yeah. hell. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, it's a very very big song, and uh, and overseas. That thing is a smoker overseas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It never broke yeah. the ranks over here. I mean, I'm going to make like number 48 or something, or, or not, I can't remember what the number was on the charts, but right. it was. it's a smoker overseas. And and speaking about that, and we talk about this often, uh, the members of the Music Lovers LTD, how you are more appreciated overseas than you are appreciated here in the United States. Norm, I want you to answer that, and then I'm going to come to season. Go ahead. Oh, oh, overseas? Yes. Oh, overseas. I, I loved it. it. We were, we could be, we recognized we were walking down any street. Um, we, we did a TV special over there. Uh, we did all the TV shows. I mean, we were like, let me tell you, let me get your story. I mean, this is true. Stevie Wonder was over there with us, right? So we, we was doing a, a TV show. So we were supposed to close because we had the big, bigger record than him. Right. So he had he was disturbed about it because he figured he wanted to be closing. So what they did, they shot two endings of we closing one time and him closing another time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff inside stuff you don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 What yeah. what Norman, what was his song at the time? I don't know. Do you know? Whatever it was, it was big over in the states. It was big here, right? Yeah. But it yeah. wasn't that big over there. He, but his okay. name was still big. He was still big. His name was big. You know. But you know, okay. about Stevie Wonder. Let me tell you a quick story. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, we, we, we met him in Europe at the at the time, and we were doing the show someplace else. And when I walked into the dressing room, I said, "Hello, Stevie. How you doing?" He said. As we stroll along together, wow. he remembered my voice. Are okay. you gonna say he can see? Wow. Are you gonna it's say he can like see? No. A, 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 see? Are you trying to say Stevie Wonder ain't blind? <laughs> <laughs> That's just sound like the meat. <laughs> no, but he remembered my voice. He had his back to me in his dressing room too, and I said, "Hey, Stevie, how you doing?" He said, "Well, how's George? How's Norman? How's so down or something?" Whoa, wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome, man. That's really awesome. And you know, it's it's been said over the years that not only Stevie but Ray Charles and anybody who had a, a condition like that, and I don't mean any disrespect when I say that, their mm -hmm. other senses are heightened to another degree. Right, they right. Pick up things that we normally can't pick up, if you will. That that's yeah. a nice, that's a very nice memory. Very right, nice, memory. Right. Yeah. very nice memory. And uh, I just say too, I, I, I didn't, I didn't thank you, but Diane, thank you for that question and for that memory too. 
Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that, 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 that's something. We went to another person's funeral like that, and uh, some friends we met in Pottstown, and their mother had passed. And they said, now, when you get in there and you look in the coffin and say, don't get excited, we had our albums in her arms. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, wow. And I'm like, whoa. Wow, wow, wow. You know yeah. what? Yeah. You know what, Seeds? But uh -huh. you and Norman, I've been saying this for years. You never know how this music affects somebody else. You guys go into the studio, you hit it, you hope that it'll be a number one record for your pocket. I mean, you know, and that's not all, but I'm saying right. you hope it'll be a number one, but you don't know how this music affects somebody's heart and, and, right. and the rest of their being. If this, right. this young right. lady was going to be buried with your album, and that's got, that's got to say something. And that's something. Really, really got to say something. <laughs> And yeah. you know, and and, it, and it's somewhat, you know, with, with coming with a hit record, is a lot that comes along with that. It's not, but well, I've got a hit record and make all this money. But it's like, it's something, something, something changes your whole way of living. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Your, life, your lifestyle's different. Your lifestyle's gonna be a little different. Yeah, it changes okay. the yeah. whole lifestyle because yeah. the people you yeah. meet, they look at you like you've done something for me with that right. song. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 right, 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 right. right. Plus, plus the fact that the millions that y'all got in the closet, we didn't ain't talking about that, right? Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, music lovers, who else got something? Where we at? Okay, coming to you, Lamar. Go ahead. A question, like, as y'all traveled around back in the early days, did you have to uh, travel with that green book? That told you where you could go and where you wow. couldn't go. Good question, Lamar. Good question. Good question. <laughs> Good question. You know, you know the way we, when we was down south, we was on tours with Sam Cook, Dick yeah. Clark. They, yeah. That's what we did. So the rooms were already they were already there. You know. Right. Yeah. But we went. We 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 went down to uh. We 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 were supposed to stay <laughs> in a place called the Peach Tree. Hotel in Georgia. And that was in, in Georgia. The middle of, uh, I, I don't know if it was Atlanta or whatever the case may be. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. And we yeah. walked in there and they wondered what, what the world were we doing here? We said, Is this the Peachtree Hotel? They said, No, you wanted the Peachtree Motel down wow. across the track. Wow. Wow. Hey, we went there and Dick Clark gave us a big party that night. And, you know, we uh, were in there having a ball with all the people on the tour. And all of a sudden, it was like in a movie. You see cars coming down the highway, and <laughs> and the, and, the, and the spot and the headlights on the on the place. And all of a sudden, so these guys get out the cars with big, I mean, with bats and chains and this and that. Say, so we want all them niggas in there. <laughs> really? <laughs> they, had, you know, they had the state troopers come get us out of there. <laughs> was it, was it, it was a, but then we went back to, about a couple of years later. To the mm -hmm. same Peachtree Hotel, and they came out, took a bag, <laughs> no sir. Oh, it was different time. Wow. <laughs> wow. What that a difference. Is awesome. That is awesome, man. That is that is awesome. <laughs> uh, man, I, I can't say it enough that the, the, the history that you guys are sharing now is stuff nobody knows until unless you tell it. You know hey. what I'm saying? That is that's that's awesome. I was, I, I was even to the point that when we traveled down south, I was trying to get sick to go home because I did not like it. Oh, <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Good question, Lamar. Good question. Anybody yes, else? Sir. Yes, sir. Kevin, coming to you, Kev. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I was doing some studying up on your, your group, you guys. I didn't know when you your first song first came out, Song in Love. You guys yes. knocked the Beatles out of the number one spot. That's right. right. That's right. 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 That's right. <laughs> and you know, we went to Europe. We uh, we 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 uh we were touring over there. We were over there for like six weeks or six months, something like that. And they took us to the car the cave or the caravan where the Beatles first started. You know, there was a little hole in the wall club. Well, I think it was called the caravan or the uh, or the I speak easy. The speak easy. No, when the speak no the speakeasy was something else, no. Oh, okay, okay. That's when we were that's okay. when we met Jimi Hendrix. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 right. He was a deep dude too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he was <laughs> oh, yeah. after, a while, after a while he didn't know we were there. He said, Who are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wow. When we walked That's in awesome. there, he was sitting at a table like the king, all the way down the end of the like yep. like like 
the end of the building, not the end building. But long table, was. long table. He's at the end of the table. Long table. table. Yeah, long and table. he went when we went in there, man. And he, you, you, you seen these lazy Susans, right? The yeah, things yeah. they had, they had, you know, you put different types of candy and stuff. Right, and stuff right. Like he had one of them in front of him, but he had every kind of drug you could think about in that lazy Susan. Wow. I can imagine. You know wow. Wow. <laughs> and he said, are you casting me this? I said, no, no. <laughs> when, when he didn't know who we were, he didn't know who that's we were. time to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Great, Great stories, story. man. Great stories. Oh, man, I think we could go on and on and on. We met the Supremes and the Temptations and so and so. You guys have, have, have certainly been around long enough, and I'm going to pose this question, and, and then I'm going to turn it back over to uh, the uh, music lovers. Tell me, uh, Caesar, since I got you up on screen, you tell me first, then I'm going to come to Norman. What are your thoughts of the music from when you first started to the music that you're hearing now? Good, bad, and indifferent. Well, well back then, when you went into the studio, you had to sing and your harmonies. You know, you had, you had to sing. We came up off the street corners, right? right? Right. And now they can go in the studio and push a button and get five part harmony. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm right. Right. And, 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 and you know, it's, it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm not knocking them, but I, it, it it blows my mind sometimes when you run into some of these groups and they can't sing. Exactly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's why we did a lot of background work because a lot of groups, but the, the producers didn't want them in there, and we would do background for everybody just about. Okay. You know. Okay. okay. You did do a lot of work, Norman. I'm coming to you, man. Go ahead. Um, I like the music of the day. Uh, the rap, eh, not so much, but but I like this, the like Anthony uh, Davis, whatever his name, Anthony Hamilton. Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, right. I like um, London. Something I can't think October. of. The guy. October, Who? London. Yeah, I like him. I like I like that music. I, but now rapping, certain raps I can get with. And you know, if you make an, another song, you have to put a rap in it to really get get with the younger crowd. Right. That's what right. it seemed like to me. You know, right. you got to put right. something in there like to, to to please them. Let them say, "Oh, we got our music going too now." You know. Okay. Okay. But uh, other than that, it's, it's, it's and then she hit it. He said the, the machines straighten you out, bring you okay. bring you up to the right. Uh, if you're off, then move you up a little bit to, to, okay. to make it sound good. You know. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, music lovers, who's got a question? Professor, coming at you. Go ahead, babe. Okay. Um. Well, first, I want to say I remember when we were together in Delaware two right. years ago. So happy belated birthday to Mr. Caesar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and happy early birthday to Mr. Norman. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I know your birthday, I believe, is the day after my mother's. Okay. Must be May the 5th. Mine's May the 5th. Yeah, hers is May the 4th. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. She's good people. She's good, she good people. She's good people. She's good people. Yeah, the fourth and the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> so, Norman, yeah. I'm noticing that necklace you're wearing. Tell us about that. Oh, yeah. Um, this I had this uh, silver dollar sitting on my dresser for a long time. And I said, I got to do something with that, you know. So, so what I did, I... I I made a hole in it to hang it put around my neck, but I didn't realize I was putting a hole in President Kennedy's uh, head on the, <laughs> on, the, wow. on the on the silver dollar, and, and I didn't realize I was in my jewel. He said, "No, you know, no, you put a hole in his head." I said, "Ooh, I didn't realize." That. <laughs> wow. But, wow! But I, I love I love it. I wear it all the time. <laughs> That's a heck of a story, man. That's a heck of a story. Heck of a story. Good question there, uh, Professor. Who else? Who's up next? Kevin, coming at you. Go ahead, bro. I just want. I just have a comment. Um, you guys, your songs. You talk about harmony. You don't hear the kind of harmony today that you that you heard when you guys were making records. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know what's funny about that? We auditioned for Gamble and Huff back in the day, and Philly International. And they said that we sang too pretty. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> Since we sang too pretty. In other words, they were looking for, and after after it happened, they were looking for the, they, they they came out with the OJs. Otherwise, we didn't have that that sound like they were looking for. But these, man, you guys start think too pretty. But George was a George was a Johnny Mathis fan. Okay, you know, our lead singer, and because uh, we, we did what wonderful, wonderful, so often never, all that stuff. You know, chances are, chances are, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> So, so, but, but, you know, I thought that was what it was all about. We went to one audition with uh, Johnny Madera and Dave White when they had the record company on Fairmount Avenue. And there was a room full of people and the way to go into to, to, uh, audition. And we went, well, we're talking to everybody, blah, blah, blah. And we went in, we auditioned. They didn't take us, but then we came out the room. I looked around, I said, where'd everybody go? The cast said, man, after hearing you guys, there wasn't any need for us to go in the room. <laughs> I said, you gotta be kidding. But I mean, that's what it was all about. We we, 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 we harmonized, we really did. Right. We really did. Right. 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 That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome, man, that's awesome. Listen, if I could jump in here, uh, Di, did you have something? Oh, no, I was, okay. no. You know, okay. I just wanted to say, wonderful, wonderful. I oh. love that song. I love your rendition better than Johnny Mathis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it has more substance. Ours has more substance, music or something. Music. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. I remember ours with the number seven, but his with the number 10. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, bet you, I bet you he wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> that well, he, he, he was, I, matter of fact, he sent me a picture he, some time ago. A guy, I ran into a guy and... um. You know, I, I I said, "Hey, man, you think you can give me a photo of Johnny Mathis?" And I went and I I I, I, I said, "Well, I'll just have it sent to you." But make a long story short, I went to the post office box that we have, and I went and I got it, and I said, "Whoa, he really sent the picture." And then my phone rings the next day, and I said, "Hello," he said, "Caesar." I said, "Yeah." He said, "This is Johnny Mathis. Did you get the photo?" I said, "Oh my goodness, yeah." Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome, man. That's yeah. awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. I, I, I have, I have, make a, another thing, I have a phone book. I call up everybody on their birthday. Everybody that I've met through the years, I call them up on their birthday. Okay. You okay. know, I mean, from Marvin Gaye to so and so to so and so, I still got all them telephone numbers in my phone book. That's cool. That's cool. That's very similar to what I got. Mine is held together by spit and duct tape. You know what I'm saying? Mine too, but duct tape. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they don't make phone books anymore. Yeah, your phone handles everything. They don't make phone books anymore. Let and roll, and right, 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 right. Uh, music lovers, uh, Caesar got a Rolodex that dates back to 19 and one. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I still he, got he a phone. He's going to show it to you. I still got it. <laughs> I got everybody's phone number there. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what's amazing? You know what's amazing? You know what's amazing, Caesar? Is that it looks as good as this dude and pages ain't falling out. That's what that's that's the thing about it. I gotta change I changed the cards though a little bit because they got a little dumb. Okay. And I, and, I, okay. and I do them over again. Then I had to I have changed the addresses and stuff like that because a lot of people have passed away. Yeah, but true enough. They true enough. only gave that to me a long time ago. Yeah. The only the only person I know that has a roller decks like that is Val Shiver. It's the only one. Okay. Right, only right. One I know. <laughs> And he has got paper clips and pieces of tape and all of that kind of stuff on it. Listen, let me ask you guys something. Um, after all of this time, being in this business, the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads, the ins and outs, what are you guys doing now? Are you working on any new material? Do you have any inspiration to do any new material? Do you want to do any new material? Because the business has changed. From from what it used to be to right. now, and it's it's really really an uphill battle. But you guys are seasoned veterans, and I don't know if that means anything in the business or not. Um, it means that the guys can't get get over on you as far as your money is concerned. I would assume, but I don't know how that ranks as far as the actual business concerned. So, uh, Caesar, since I got you up, you talk about that, then I'm gonna come to normal. Well. Uh... <laughs> I've I've written some I've written some things that I've done and um, I I hope to get in the studio with with the guys and uh, you know it, you had have, have to change with the times to to a degree 
you know, and uh, come up with different uh, sounds and not sounds, but different. In other words, try to come up with something good. Put it okay. like that. And uh, you know, it's not. It's not. It, 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 I think we still got a. There's still a market out there for us, recording wise. I really okay. do. Okay. All right, Norman, coming at you. Uh, well, with with C, I thought she would, would bring it up, but we do have something in the in the fire. Um, you, Joey M, you know Joey M? Yeah, down in yeah. Uh, Wild World. Right. Wild World. Right. He's 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 trying to record us right now. Trying to, you know, he just did Frankie Avalon, so that's why he was, you know, a little delaying it and getting back okay. with us. But okay. uh, so far, it's still in the, in the in the fire, you know. Okay. All right. Well, as usual, you know, I please keep me in the loop because I'd love to be the one to break it on the air. Uh, I don't even know if they use those terms anymore, but I'll tell you how old I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be shame. I'm 83, man. Don't be shame. I got you. I got you. No, I ain't shame, brother. I ain't shame at all. Uh, not shame at all. Um, music lovers, anybody got anything? Um, Who's that? Die coming at you, baby. Go ahead. I read that um, you had women that came with you. Um, how long did they stay with you? Like, what are their names? Terry Gonzalez and Melanie Moore? Yeah, Mel yeah, Ter Terry Gonzalez right. uh, and Melanie Moore. And we had another one. It was, you ever heard of uh, Honey Coles? Coles yeah. and Atkins, the dancers, two mm. tap dancers. Okay. Well, anyway, Honey Coles' daughter named Isabel Cole sang with us too. We had three different girls, three di different girls back in the seventies. Uh, that worked out pretty good. We did about three, about three albums, with, uh, but as time went on, things didn't work out, and so they just we we, we let them go. Went back went back to the gap. Okay. I, have, I have to say they were from very good albums, so I wasn't on them. Yeah. But uh, there's some very good albums. I had left the group for a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. They didn't like me. <laughs> Matter of fact, one of the girls, Terry, Terry Gonzalez, uh, she was in uh, Days of Our Lives. We got her off of the TV thing, you know, one of the, one of them soap operas. She, we took her off of there. You know. Okay. Okay. All right. Great information. I mean, we're not even finished yet, and there's been so much information that has been disclosed. Go ahead, Norman. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, uh, Morgan Freeman's brother was in the group, too. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Jerry. Yeah. He was in front okay. of Yeah, he was IMD. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's awesome, man. That was that was before you guys met me, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It might have been. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. <laughs> we, we knew you had a we knew you had a radio career, so we had to leave you alone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, likely story. Yeah, what yeah. uh Norman? Norman, I'm yeah. coming. I'm sorry, yes. you say something, uh, Diane? No. Okay, Norman, I'm coming to you. Um, what aspiration or what plateau do, would you like to ascertain before hanging your shoes up altogether? Or have you have you attained that and are you now just relishing in, in, the, uh, in the glory of it? Well, my next plateau is like to have a record. Get a record, get back out there, make some more money. Okay. Bigger money. Okay. okay. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. 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 Oh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We're in the Vocal Group Hall of Fame already. Yeah. yeah. We're in the Retro Retro Hall of Fame. Whatever they do down yeah. south. You know. They got a star on Broad Street. You, you got a star. Yeah, you got a star on the camp. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, we talked about that earlier. We know how that is. All political, and it's a yeah. shame. It really is a shame because anytime you get a song of the century, it should definitely be acknowledged. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people, no, not too many people can say that I have or we have a song of the century. Very few people yeah. can say that. You know, you, what you, know, you, you know, we were overseas. I went to, uh, we was on tour with People Bryson, Den Sibwood, The Temptations, uh, Aspen Simpson. It was a who's who, Frida Pain. Went into the dress room and Dennis, when they were getting on the knees, bowing to us. So we were legends. I said, what? Okay. Yeah, okay. that made me feel real good, you know. Okay. And it's okay. everything them bowing to us, you know. Okay. Okay. That's got to make you feel real good. Oh, yeah. 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 Make yeah. you feel real good. Real yeah. good. That's awesome. Great. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing it. Who, uh, uh, music lovers, who else got something? Kevin coming at you. Well, Go ahead. Hey, we're researching you guys. Um, I see where there's a long list of 
um, former members of your group. You had like a lot of people sitting with you guys at one time. A lot of people. Female, like one of the names was like this is about something. Uh, you were breaking up. Say it again. Say it again. Oh, now I was saying I was now I was studying you guys' history. I said you had a long list of former uh, people who sang with you in your group. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, looked like one of the names was a female name. I think it was Isabel. Isabel Coles. I mentioned her from Michigan. That's Johnny Coles' daughter. Yeah, of Coles and Action. He, he. Matter of fact, he was the MC at, at the Apollo for years back in the. Uh, 50s, 40s, 50s, and up until right. 60s. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, and, and uh, we did have Lafayette Gamble, and we had Jimmy Wells. Right. Right. Man. Right. Got you. Got you. Good question, Kev. I think I saw the professor with something. Professor coming at you. Okay. Um, have you, at one point, where you called the Jewels? Yeah. No, that, no we... The exactly. Jewels was another group that we we did. They couldn't do the background, so it was uh, it was uh, Billy Abbott and the Jewels. That was his group. So we came in and, and and did the harmony for them for that part. Okay, okay. And have you guys considered, or did you ever do a gospel album? No, but we did do a gospel show in, in a church. <laughs> oh. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. We was at the Apollo Theater. We came back that morning, that Sunday morning, did the show, and came on back. We figured okay. we need a little help. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all. Uh, Norm, you got uh, uh, Caesar. Caesar had to go to the men's room. You know, case, yeah. he, can't, he, can't, he, can't, he can't sit for so long. Yeah, yeah. You right about that. You right about that. <laughs> Your water pills or something else. <laughs> did, why you know that? <laughs> you disappeared. You disappeared. That's what it was. <laughs> hey, brother, we we all get mature, man. We all get mature. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, th with with all of the music that you guys have done, uh, uh, Norman, I, I asked you, but I didn't get a chance to ask Caesar because mm -hmm. you know he had to go. Caesar, I'm going to come to you with all of the music and things and the accomplishments that you that you have done. What's left for you to uh, ask? What plateau is left for you to ascertain to, to make you complete, or, or is there one? Well, like I mentioned before. Uh, I, I, and I met, we met the uh, gentleman at, I think, in, uh, um, Charlie Grace's um, uh, memorial, at the, the head of the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's oh, yeah, Greg, Gregory, uh, Mr. Gregory something, uh, yeah. Greg, yeah. Yeah, 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 we met him. And he, he, he said, that, you know, we was, on the, we was on the docket, I put it like that. But that, but I'd like to um, be able to go and headline shows in the casinos. That's my main, that's one thing, you know, just, yeah. just, just once be a headliner. Okay. You know, it's always okay. been uh, co-stars and stuff like that. But, you know, that didn't bother me. But uh, like I said, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think I would that would be the ultimate to me. Okay. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Kevin coming at you. Go ahead, Kev. Yeah, another question. Um, are there any groups out there pirating your name, like they're, they're playing as a time? No, 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 nothing, not now. Not we now. Got, we, got, we got the name patent, so no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, we had, we did that years ago. Yeah. You know, because uh, they're, 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 who was it? Uh, the time, the time, the time, the time, the time. I can't think of who it was, but they. Otherwise, we had a very good attorney that we, that we worked with, and uh, he got his got his straightened out for us. I put it like that, you know. And you know, it was even going back into the days, you know, when we first signed up with Cameo and Parkway Records. We had, we, you know, you're so excited to get a hit record, and we had signed a contract. We had signed a contract with what for 25 years, you know, with 50 five years, 50 five. years, 50 years. 50 years, yeah, 50 years. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, all you, all you know is, well, you got to hit record, you sign on the dotted line. Right, right. It right. wasn't about the money, it was about getting out there and seeing them old gals and hanging around. That's what it was. <laughs> it was about, you know what I mean? Oh, man. But then we opened our eyes up and said, wait a minute, we got to make some money here. That's right. Right, right, right. But you know what? I, I think that 
uh, any of us who have been in this musical business, either, you know, and I'm sort of in a little different area than you, once the lights come on, that's what we get attracted to. The lights and the in the in the uh in the cellophane suits and what have you, you know, and, and looking sharp and what and that's what it's all about. Until until which a lot of you guys who were pioneers opened us us lesser fortunate guys up to say, Hey, this is a business. You know what I'm saying? Right, we right, did, we right. didn't know from the very beginning. All we wanted to do was sing, all we wanted to do was dance and yeah. be out there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. And that's where a lot of the uh, little Richard died by saying that he still never got paid for what right. and he probably is right. He's yeah. probably yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, he's probably right. Yeah. You know, all right. Uh did I see what did I see? And wasn't was it wasn't it Morris Day that tried to have called it say Morris Day in the Times? No, it was Morris Day in the it's spelled T-I-M-E. Right. But let me tell you what let me tell you what happened. This is just recently. Uh, yeah, yeah, when, when, when Prince died, and uh, when he died, his 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 uh, organization or his people wanted to change and take the time away from from the Times, mm. take their name away. But so they wanted to call itself the Times. But somebody mm. let them know say hey, it's a group out there called the Times already, so they couldn't do it. They really yeah, wanted. Was one of our least, but our least people that said us that uh, we was in Delaware at the, at the uh, restaurant. Okay. I think it was one of your people that mentioned that to us. Ali. Okay, I, I, I didn't know where I got it from. I knew it was happening. You know. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Look, yeah, I said you look into that right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of the biggest things about that was that the spelling of the name. Yours yeah. has always been T Y M E S. The other one was T I M E S. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's always been the what, what I consider was the difference anyway. I mean, I knew who you guys were, and I knew who this other guy. I mean, yeah, I don't mean no disrespect, but I knew mm -hmm. who he was too. You know? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, who did I see? Was that the professor or Diane? Diane, coming at you, babe. Oh, excuse me. Are you still performing now? Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we are. Matter of fact, you got that on? No, you got it. Go ahead. No, I'll jump, fact, I jump in if you ain't right. I'll jump in if you ain't right. Uh, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, August, uh, I think it is, August 31st, we're going to no. do the Italian Festival. No, I thought it was the, the next gig is, is May 11th. No, August 31st. Okay. And that's my mother's birthday. Yeah, August 31st. Uh, we're doing the, the, the Italian festival in Wildwood. And we're looking at in October, but I know there's more 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 of that, but I'm talking about in the area, and looking at possibly October, we're gonna be at treasures. Woo! At treasures? Really? Treasures, yeah. Wow. Possibly, <laughs> it hasn't been confirmed yeah. yet. But that in October for two nights, Friday and the Saturday night. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Hasn't okay. been confirmed but, yet, but we, 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 we did our, and I'm like surprised at that myself. Really. Uh, yeah, that's that is a surprise. <laughs> well, let me just let me just throw in there that uh just have our, our tickets reserved and our place reserved. And, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. lovers LTD, we'll be there. You know what I'm saying? We got now. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll be there. Okay. Uh was that Professor? That was Diane. Uh Professor, you got something or no? Yeah, um, have you considered either of you or both of you together considered writing a book? Uh, I, let me tell you, my, I, my son wants me to write a book, but I can't write a book now. People still living. <laughs> Change the names to protect the guilty. Yeah, but then you won't buy the book because you the juicy stuff with sells books. <laughs> I, 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 I mentioned I mentioned that to my wife, and she said and she said if, I said if I ever wrote a book, it's like that fly on the wall. I'd have to move out of the city. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but look, my son was so desperate. I mean, I've to... been in some situations with some groups and producers and so on, so on, so on, so. If I was to put it down on paper, I'd have to leave the town. I'd have to leave town or write wow. it by another name. Wow. wow. My, my son my son was so into me writing a book, he called a guy in Chicago. Uh -huh. and, and the guy called me and said, your son wants you to write a book. And I explained to him what happened, what I, what I, tell, what I told y'all. And he uh -huh. said, I understand. He said, if you change your mind, call me. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because there's so much that happened in this business uh, that that you guys have shared just a, what not even a thumbnail 
of, of, of stuff with us here this evening. But there's so much of that. And I, like I said, I know some things that have happened through where I traveled at and what have you. And to me, it ain't about throwing dirt. It ain't about throwing It's about putting it out there so people will know, you right. know, what's what. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. But obviously, we all know that everybody doesn't take the same way and don't think the same, the, the same way that we think. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 And I would, I would love, I would truly, truly love to read a book that either one of you guys put together. I would truly love it. I would truly love it. Yeah, I know you, know you would. I know you would. My son would love it. He said, he said, he said, he said Dad, write it. Then when you go, when you leave us, I can put it out. He can put it out. <laughs> let's, 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 just, let's just say there's a lot of dirt going on out there in the business. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Believe it. That was that was then and still now. It's you know still what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still now. Yeah. 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 Yes, uh, I agree. <laughs> I, I definitely agree. Definitely agree. Um, Caesar, in closing, is there some closing statements or remarks that you'd like to make? Norman, I'm gonna come to you next. Okay. Well, all I do all I can say is uh, uh, I am thankful for people like you that you know uh, helping us to keep the music alive and to your organization. You know, and and uh, anything that we can do to let us know, and we will be there at the, at the drop of a hat. But and plus, I thank all the fans that have been following us through the years. Okay. And, uh, we're not done yet. <laughs> cool. cool, 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 cool. Thank you, Cs. Norman, you up, bro? Well, he spoke. He, he, what I wanted to say, he said. Okay. <laughs> so I feel the same way about that. You know, I'm a man of few words. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> really, Norman? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but but uh, no. I appreciate that. Let let the people know we're still around. We're still kicking and still doing jobs. And you know, and and, and anybody want to book us, call you. There you go. There you go. There you go. Norman, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little curve in here. Uh, okay. When is the next barbecue at your house? <laughs> <laughs> Th those days are done. <laughs> but yes, I had so many people there. I had the guys in the five heartbeats was there. You know, the money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was so right. many people. Yeah, Sunny yeah. Hill came. Uh, yeah, DD Sharp, Billy Paul. We had a good time. It had a good time, man. Yeah, a nice time. good days, really man. Nice yeah, 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 yeah. Really nice time. I was the man back then. Yeah, well, I, mean, I was the man. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Let me That's my brother, believe me, my brother to the end, believe me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, you got closing remarks here, please? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I want to thank you guys for coming in and speaking with us tonight. I just have one last question. Are you uh -oh. guys still getting royalties from your songs? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, one of the good things about doing they, it right. They, they, they're, they're, they're not as frequent, but they're, they're nice. I'll put it like that. You get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay. Good mm -hmm. question, Kev. Lamar, go ahead up, bro. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you. I had the pleasure of meeting you all. And mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for you all to go back in the studio and mm -hmm. record so that way I'll be able to sing along with you all. Because <laughs> I can't sing with these people that are singing today. I don't know <laughs> what he's saying. Okay. Yeah, thank, you. You. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, now, C's and, and uh, Norman, Lamar yeah. is in Michigan. That's where he is present. He lives presently in Michigan. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Wow. But, wow. but if you remember, Lamar, help me out with this. We had, didn't we have them do, uh, was it City Line Avenue? Was it City? Sugar, it, with the, Sugar and Spice? Yeah. No, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, City Line never been on City Line Avenue. No. I don't. I, I, it, was, I, it, was, it was called 12 Caesars at the time. Oh, oh. Yes, it was. It oh, was yes, yes, yes. Okay, we okay. had you guys do 12 Caesars for us on City Line Avenue. Right, yes. right, 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 yes. right, 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 right. That was our third anniversary. Okay, wow. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was a long time ago. Yeah, that's yeah, going back yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. My hair wasn't as gray as it is now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lamar. Uh, DD, come on in, babe. Good, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, gentlemen, and I look forward to hearing your new moves, music and seeing you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right.
You let's know, go. Let's go to the professor who moved there overnight there. and got new digs. Let's go to yeah. the professor. <laughs> I thank you both for joining us. This has been fun, as uh, it always is. <laughs> when I met y'all the first time, we laughed most of the time. Then yeah, too, yeah. <laughs> I, I really appreciate your efforts and everything you've done in the music industry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. All right, all right. Um, listen, you guys have been my friends for years, and and hopefully we're we're they're not hopefully, but we're going to continue to do the things that we do. And anything that I can do to assist you guys, you know, you all you got to do is call me. And 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 it's the same thing. I appreciate. I appreciate. I don't know. I'm sure I've told you over the years, but every time is a different setting, and I think that you need to take the time to say it. I appreciate you guys for our friendship. I appreciate you guys for everything you've done in the musical business to help me get to who I am or be who I am. And I'm going to keep on, man. I'm not a trailblazer anymore, but I'm going to keep on uplifting our music. And I don't mean black and white music. I mean the music that we all grew up on and that's a part of our DNA. Um, no, uh, Caesar and I talk to and so did uh, Norman. We don't get the accolades that we should get you know compared to the color situation we don't get that right, right, but that right. doesn't that doesn't stop me from doing what i'm doing as long as i have a platform as long as i can play music for somebody i'm going to put it out there and say what it is because this is where it lives at this is what this is the real deal yeah, I think right. all of right. you. thank you so much for having us and it was a pleasure talking to you yeah you got it you got it man. all right uh music lovers ltd uh, we want to say good night to uh, Norman and Caesar Berry because uh, I, I see that uh, Caesar's wobbling in his chair. He's got to go to the bathroom again. But you see, this is the this is the type of relationship that we have. We can do this. You know what I'm saying? This is we the type way of back with a lot of things, Ali. Yes, sir. Yes, everybody. Yes, everybody. And they've been good. They've been good, man. They've been yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you helped me out a lot of getting out of a lot of situations too, man. Right, right, right. right, right. And right. I will call both of you guys if I go see Steve and let you know what's going on with that situation. Right on. Okay. Right. I'll let you know what's what. Um, again, music lovers, have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much. We'll probably talk sometime later during the week uh, or early next week before we get to the next show. Uh, for all of you folks that are listening. This month has been awesome for Music Lovers LTD, and we would love for you to come and become a member of Music Lovers LTD. Just go on Facebook, look up Music Lovers LTD, ask a couple of, answer a couple of questions, and you're in like Flint. I don't even know anybody say that anymore, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, we, we're all about the music and preserving uh, uh, the music along with the artists and, and just, just keeping it alive, just keeping it alive. We started this month off with Kim Weston. That was last week uh, out of Motown. This week was the time. Next week, we're going to have Mr. George Kerr, who is responsible for the moments. Phyllis Hyman, Linda Jones, The Escort, and the list goes on and on and on. We're going to try to contain him just to talk about Linda Jones because we don't want Kevin to pass out and uh, maybe The Escort. We're going to try to contain him to talk to those people. The last week of this month, we have the wife of a Philadelphia legend. That's Mr. Billy Paul. His wife will be on with, on with us uh, for the last week of, um, of April. Everybody have a great evening, a great weekend. God bless you all. And we will talk to everybody soon. Everybody say good night. 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 Well, later, get it, got a cut. <laughs> be safe out there. All right. All right. Take, Take care, care now. Take Thank care. you so much. I guess we can punch off. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just going to hold it on till 9 o'clock and just fade this out. I mean, at 10 o'clock. Good night, Norm. Good okay, night, good night. Yeah, I'm out of here like Vladimir. All right, brother. Good night, <laughs> Professor. Good night. See you, Lamar. Peace out, bro. Professor, please don't move me for next week. <laughs> yeah, I might go to another location. Lord have mercy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Good night. All right.
Good night. Good night. Good night.